hello guys welcome back to my channel today i will be doing a short set of nude nails this is my beautiful godmother she's going out of town so she wanted to get her nails done i normally just do a manicure on her but this go wrong she wanted her some tips go girl I'm using a 180 grit sanding band. And then I will go to my cuticle bit. Boom, there it goes, the cuticle bit. As you can see, um, she has a lot of, um, skin around her cuticles and if you don't remove that skin that will cause lifting them nails will be popping off like popcorn pop 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 my yeah i always try to use your cuticle bit and uh remove the extra skin off of the nail even though you push your cuticles back it still sometimes be skin on the nail so even if I don't see skin there, I still take that cuticle bit and go back around now to make sure. Because I don't need nothing popping off like popcorn. Okay, right here, I'm taking my cuticle nippers and I am cutting off the excessive skin. I used to be so nervous and scared when it was that time, but dealing with her, she does have a lot of skin. And um, I just make sure to be real careful. And then also, if you can see around some of her cuticles, you can see that she has the lit hanging skin too. And I always nip those down too. So when she gets through, baby, them some nice cuticles. Smooth and TNZ, baby. Dust them off. Right on here, right now, I'm going to use some swipes to brush. And get all the dust up out of her nails before I apply the nail tips. You want to make sure there is no dust on the nails when applying the nail tips. Because if there's dust up under there, there will be lifting. Okay, now I'm applying the nail tips. When you are measuring your nail tips, make sure that they are going to be from side wall to side wall. Because if they're not sidewall to sidewall there will be lifting because that nail is not wide enough on their regular nail to stay down so it's gonna pop up so now i've cut the nails and i'm filing them she wants them short short shorts short as she can get them and i get that but right now i'm just filing them and now i'm um blending them into her nail i always blend my nail tips because i like the way they look like they're natural some people don't blend but i blend it's your prerogative you can do whatever you want to do when you're doing nails because that's how you do it
okay through blending the nail tips so it's time to take this swipe and clean all that dust off because if you don't there will be lifting right now i'm applying um young nails um protein bun i love this oh my god i love it okay let's lay the acrylic i'm using a size 10 Kalinsky brush that I got from um, Nail Supply Glamour. Get the brush. I recommend that. For even for a beginner, I would say start with a ten instead of eight. When you're laying your acrylic, I always try to keep your sides clean and um keep it wiped down because you don't want it on the skin and the more you keep your size quite uh, wiped down the less shaping you will have to do because you're keeping your shape of your nail instead of messing it up and putting a whole bunch of acrylic on there which can uh, cake up on the nail and you'll be filing for days ain't nobody got time to be filing for days we got to move on to the next clan baby <music> And remember, when you're get doing the cuticle area, hold your finger down and then apply the acrylic as close to the cuticle as you can get it. But do not let it flood into the computer into the cuticle, because that will uh, lead to lifting also. See how I'm laying that acrylic on there? And as I lay, I keep swiping down my sides. Because I don't want nothing on the skin. And I want less filing. Less filing time. My young with short nails is so easy and quick. I love doing short nails. I love doing long nails. It's to each his own. You do have some nail ticks. I mean nail ticks that only do long nails. And then you do have some that do long and short. And then you do have some that don't do long nails. It's everybody's prerogative. They can do what they want to do. Pick what you want to do. Then you have some nail techs that do nails and feet. Then you have some nail techs that do, just does nails. I just do nails. I don't do feet. I'm sorry. I don't have time to do feet. I just do nails. Okay, now guys, I'm using my 5-in-1 pounder drill bit. Pounder. Pounder drill bit. Baby, this will knock the bulk down in a, a, a blink of an eye. Do you hear me? And it's good for going around the cuticles and blend and, uh, blending the cuticles in with the uh, natural nail. And then you can take the metal part of it and smooth that mug out. Yes, babe, I love it.
Okay, now I'm using my extra fine panel bit. When I use this, I don't even have to buff. It smooths it out so good. But I'm buffing now. And after I get through buffing, I'm going to give her some um, hand scrub. Get all the dust up out of them cuticles. Get a pump of soap. And wash your hands. Now I'm wiping them back off with some um, swipe. To make sure no oils is on there before I apply my top coat. Mm -hmm. 